How's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good here, thanks for asking. Well, fixing to head out on a bike ride. Not gonna do anything amazing. Uh, just stopping here at the park for a second. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't remember if I made a video or not about what's wrong with my bike. Uh, I know I posted something on Facebook, but I don't remember if I made a video or anything. So let's just talk about what's wrong. If you recall, I got a new cassette, a new wheel, and a new chain. And since I put all that on, since I put all that on, I've had chain drop issues. Um, so I guess it's my front chain ring that's worn out. So, eight, nine, ten days ago, whatever it's been now, I called up the local bike shop, local as in a good hour away. In Paducah, Kentucky, and I had them order me a, a narrow wide chain ring. Well, I go pick it up, I go to pick it up, um, or not pick it up, but I take my bike up there to get them to put it on, and uh, it's the wrong uh, chain ring. It's a five bolt, and I have a four bolt. So uh, I'm still having chain drop issues up until then, and, and they can tell I'm not real happy, haven't driven that far. Uh, so I asked them if they could at least fix my bike somehow to where my chain would stay on. I was hoping for a little bit more quality fix with actual parts of some sort, some kind of a tensioner, tightener, some kind of something that they could have done. but. The guy does this. Of course, we've all seen the trick with the zip ties. Uh, yesterday on my ride, my chain did slip off, but it went right back on. So I guess technically it's kind of doing the job. Um, I just don't know how long a zip tie will hold up to constant riding. To me, that's more of a temporary fix to get down a trail or something. But I'm going to be riding, you know, pretty much every day for the next few days until I get that new ring put on. So, that's kind of my dilemma. And so far, I've not really gotten to enjoy the new parts that I bought because of all this. So I'm hoping eventually things will work out. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, it's been a pain. 
and I haven't been real happy. So, uh, and I missed two days of riding because I was hanging around the house each day waiting for a call from the bike shop. You know, I wanted to be ready to go. And uh, anyway, that's how things are going right now. I'm going to go ahead and continue my ride because we do have a chance of rain and uh, it could blow in now or it can be another five hours who knows but uh, I'm going to take off I'll get a little bit of video here and there nothing super major just some quick stuff So I just stopped the steak and shake, got me a big old water, sat there for a minute. Taking off behind Walmart. That's how we do it. I'm stealth shopping.
about a mile from being home. So I'm going to call the video done. Hope you enjoyed. I'll keep you up to date on what's going on with the bike. Project Raleigh Redux. And I hope things get a little better for it. Guys, have a good day. Be safe, but have fun. Challenge yourself. Don't forget to get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it. And have fun doing it. See you later.